in the most clutch moment, hitting that one rail that, you know, gives them the entire game, and then, like, the chase for that last frag. It's just, you cannot understand the level of excitement this game used to bring, and I really hope it can do that this year. I want, because they're pushing so much for QPL this year, I'm really hoping it kind of goes back to that, you know? Prepare to fight. The fact that it's still around and we're still, you know, there's still some buzz and the company's Round still behind it. And, you know, Three, it's a good sign. Two, yeah. One. All right. Here we go. Show right, I'm starting on Dewey, but again, I want to give Fab some credit here. Let's go. I see some good plays here. You'd think, obviously, with every single new stage we get to, the, the, the level of, obviously, play just. You know, levels up a little bit. I can already see um, Fab kind of being a bit, a bit more measured than uh, the last game. The timing here on that machine gun damage. He's backing away onto that armor. That's really nice. I wonder if there's a bit of like a mental game there in some of these instances. And there, Dewey goes down right off the bat. I'm putting my foot in my mouth, saying that Fab might not be able to hold as much on it, but I'm seeing. An absurd level of Im improvement from the last time I've seen Fab play. Holy cow! I love that shaft so much. Oh, and he brings it back 42. It's a very skin friendly stream, okay? We're gonna be commenting a lot on the skins, so. That's just I was talking nice. about the gun. Don't y'all say nothing. Well, let's catch a side on that one. Don't y'all be taken to that context. I know y'all. We've been warned, chat. <laughs> like that's gonna stop. You just keep seeing the little pink beam and it gets me so excited because I'm like, okay, are we gonna get another shot of the love shaft? No. It's skin. Well, that needs to be a parody. Yeah. Love shaft. And it needs to be all quake themed. Like, the gun, and, like, the damage calculations and everything. Oh, good skill! And nice wipe! And gets the kill! Drive by Shotty. I think good. Dewey's just catching, getting caught off guard and not realizing just the pressure Fab is laying out here, not expecting it. It has its own music! Great direct rocket. Use the left shaft, I wanna hear the music. Oh, no! Oh, he needs to get the hell out of here, though. Gauntlet, yeah. portal? Oh, he could have. Hey, damage. No, he's in the right lava. Right in the lava. Oh. But he's ranger. Ranger Never can endure up. the lava. No Brilliant mind. play. Oh, oh he couldn't game. steal. Pissed that was greedy. <laughs> that was greedy. He knows it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to say it, but that is... Yeah, in that moment. That could be, that could be a game swinger. <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, I said the word. His mind was telling him no, but it's body. <laughs> this is how he instantly regretted it. No, 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 no. Oh, now Dewey's on top. Yep, he handed that to Dewey, and now Dewey has so much control again. When he didn't have any... Don't forget to follow the killer, um... Production. Production. Good one. <laughs> the, the, the bad thing about Fab is that unfortunately the items, the major items, have not been able to play a really good for him. They're, they're split so yeah. far apart. Dewey can just bounce between them now for the whole game. If he doesn't mess up, this is he'll never relinquish control of these two items. So Fab needs oh, no. to get like the killer, killer engagements. Pretty much. Right. I mean. That one mistake completely put this into Dewey's favor, and he is not letting him get any edge of that. He is taking full advantage of that mistake. He saw it, he smelled it, he's like, uh uh, you're not getting away with that. Oh, it was an excellent play from Fab, but oh, it was just a hair off. I think he was trying to go for the direct teleport and get out of dodge, but he missed it slightly, had to step back, and just that little bit of extra damage was too much. Yeah, do we call him with a stunning rocket as well, just to bounce into the left? Using the nail gun to deny him any of the minor items as well, he is really keeping Fab on a lockdown right now. He's not letting him get that edge back, seeing how Fab almost, like, secured a win and just that one mistake. Just made the 
whole different. Excellent attempt. He almost had him. A ninja play from Fab, but once again, Dewey was able to catch his guard and protect himself. But these plays from Fab are kind of fantastic. I love it. Chat fight. I mean, you can't help it when you have two on one. So true. Come on, Fab, I believe. Can't run away. Direct rockets to the face. Wraps now, that's gonna be another major up for him if he hangs around for this heavy. Yeah. He has no reason not to at this point. I think Fab is just banking on one of the mega steals and playing up again, but he takes so much damage kind of leading into the game. He knows Dewey's just got that edge and every tiny sound. Gives his position away. Uh, yeah, I mean, great movement as well from Dewey, just cutting him off. And denying him everything, even the minor items, just to make yeah. sure that there's no edge to get whatsoever. He's not letting him secure anything. Next. Crushing. It feels like Fab hasn't had an LG in a while. Two occasions. Yeah, he's been before, uh... where he's done with one, really. He's, quiet, but he's kind of stuck he did with rockets. But Dewey um, was able to use his, his ability to just double up on him and melt him before he could really make any kind of a play with it. And now we have a rage. <laughs> this looks like one of my games. No. Oh, two on one machine gun there. This, say, even the small details, uh, like denying him that dropped LG is really smart. Oh, yeah. Damn. And then just taking just the little list of damage to make sure that he can just be denied. Fab can't get a weapon. He's stuck on machine gun this whole time. That's brutal. Damn. Well, I'll tell you what, for two minutes there, it looked like a close game. God. Yeah. And that just goes to show again. <gasps> Beautiful! Fab yeah. POV, here we go. Let's go. But it, like I was saying, it really goes to show one tiny misstep. That's all it takes. And all of a sudden it can go from you having a secured victory with full control to you having a landslide against you. It is so easy to lose that footing in duel. And that's really what makes the difference between the casual players and the pros. Fine margins. I can't. Th I don't think there's any other video game where the margins are so fine. You know, this is this is why we love watching. Honestly, really, not in the same sense. No. Excellent. Oh, oh he tried gauntlet. to go for the gauntlet. Okay. Okay, Fab, I see you. Oh, and he almost got the tri -bolt kill. I would have been very impressed. Very ballsy from Dewey, actually. 25 HP and he soared back into the area. It's a shame that Fab is here. Fab is going to get the rocket. Is this comeback possible? I don't know. A minute and a half, do you really think? We're up to keep. To get him on the, uh, the most delicious spawn cycle. He really would if he could manage to secure Probably another, because Dewey still has a good bit of control here, so he would not only have to secure a little bit of control on top of that, but really catch him on those spawns and just landslide it. We're already approaching the last minute. It's pretty unlikely. There's still time. <laughs> Technically, yes. Yeah. But wait, there's time. Dewey's not even trying to move, he has no reason to. Just admiring the sculpture of the man coming out of the wall. Yeah. Telefract? Oh. Shotgun to the backside. Oh, the direct. 
I believe that's Goroth, no? The god that they're looking at. This is why you're here. You're the um, Quake Law expert. Kicking a man when he's down. <laughs> this that's is what we pay low. you for. I do get them a little bit mixed up, but I believe that's Goroth. Uh, Right, Someone so needs a little there. discipline. GG WP from Fair. Very well played indeed, actually. Nice little love rocket. Nope, we got our gauntlet. There we go. We got our gauntlet and a nice juicy suicide on the way out. Very, uh, giblity. Hmm. <laughs> Giblity? <laughs> <laughs> it's flattered. Uh... As we see, lots of, uh, I mean, 12 megas to 6 for Dewey. And he also Oof. picked up 18 small armors to um, Fab's 11. So, yeah, control on paper there. That one slip up. I was just like, if if I was Fab, uh, I would be kicking myself so hard right now for that because yeah. he had it. I think he knew, you know, he knew if he got that mega, even though he was low and denied it from Dewey, he had weapon advantage and he could have got another frag and then chained it into another. But he was just so low and he knows, you know, he should know Dewey's going to immediately get that mega. So just question, lucky. do we know if mm. the bubbles were up when he was over there? Was he going for the minor bubbles to give himself a little bit of health or did he pass them to go for the mega? I wasn't sure if those bubbles were up at that moment. In the nail gun room? Uh, in the machine gun. Oh, uh, the moment I'm thinking of, I think Dewey was spawned in machine gun and was running to Mega, and Fab was approaching Mega from the um, nail gun room. So he was... Yeah, they he was were the opposite. Through. Fab was coming oh, really? in the machine gun. Yeah. Uh, interesting. I suppose those bubbles are on the edge, aren't they? So you, you might feel like you're wasting valuable time going to get them. I think that might have been what happened, and just that little yeah. bit of extra health could have made the difference if he was able to actually swipe the Mega and at least get out. Maybe not even get a kill or anything, but at least get out of there and deny that for Dewey, to where Dewey would have to go and use the minimal items to at least try to get some kind of a hold. I yeah. think Fab could have maintained his control at that point, but I'm not, again, sure if the bubbles were actually even up and active at that moment, or if they had been grabbed prior. An interesting point as well, if Fab was the one playing BJ and he had that passive heal after taking damage, he actually might have survived and got the Mega. <laughs> true, true, yeah. It's all those oh, little tiny it. things, you know? He's gonna, that's going to keep him up at night now that I've mentioned that. Should Here we go, BJ. the Veil of Nath. Or as some people like to say, the Veil of Penath. 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 So many ways to say it. I call it now. I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be, but I could be wrong. <laughs> it's, got, it's definitely a Sodom pig. Prepare to fight. Is <laughs> Round begins at three, two, that's one. Let's see. Ask you to check fight. it. Can we check that production? Okay. So we're starting off with right. Dewey, I believe. I actually started on Fab, but I also am partial to Strago and P3, so... Let's start with Fab, and then just let the kills dictate who we see. I am going to call her Galena on just pure De hang love nostalgia as a little, you know, a little, oh, little homage. Yeah. So f for this game, she's Galena. Galena. Tribute. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> We've already got two totems. Dewey getting himself a nice little backup footing with those totems. We have another love chef. I am excited. I want. Ooh, we have the love rocket too. All the pink guns. Let's go. I am on Fab's side. He's gonna need the support of me. here. No! Just dropping onto the LG. So unlucky. Fab again, reading the situation immediately and just slapping himself and like, going, ah, I done goofed. Death is the only release. Right, right. Dewey already with the overstack. Oh, such a juicy overstack too. This is gonna spell some pretty negative fortune for Fab. Unless Fab can find a way to nullify it, which he hasn't seemed to notice the totems yet. God, aren't Gatlin a player's the worst? Honestly. 
I play her. Angry. No, you make me irrationally <laughs> angry. I hide my totems very well, sir. And I, I have never no see the totems. It, oh, oh, no. it <laughs> makes me want to get my life check. That's fair, yeah. If you're not really looking for him, it's easy to And just like that, that little... Oh, that oversex. Immediately a free mega in the pocket. Here we go, down the fab goes. You just can't compete with the stack. And Dewey knows it. But, oh, Fab gets in there. Nice okay. connection on the rails. He actually might stand a chance with the, you know, on this map. This is, a, I believe this is his pick. Uh, rails, I'm seeing the top of the And he has the best rail skin. Uh, I swear this skin is like aimbot. And yet, as he say that, he misses the rail with his skin. <laughs> yeah, I guess technically I'm a caster right now, so I just... Yeah. Don't forget, we're cursed. Be healed. Oh, one totem goes down, another comes back. Dewey is still just rocking this juicy and fat oversack. No care in the world. Easily going and swiping the level. Take a peek into the face! Yes, sir. And a shoddy, beautiful play from Fab there. That was brutal. He's still not. not oh, oh, that's, that's not how you're supposed to do that. Oh, I felt that on a deep something. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like my, my insides cringe a little bit, it, and like I felt the pain. Good rocket. Oh, Beautiful. great rocket. Getting that little stack of health back, but Dewey's still sitting on a fat stack of totems. You know, Dewey has been holding himself really well, but Fab is putting on a heavy amount of pressure considering. Get him, Peeker, get him! Did get him. Good tag. At a boy. <laughs> Good try. Always have faith in Peeker. I, I have to just. I can't stop just adoring Fab feeling selection of weaponry. Yeah, I mean, if it is nothing else. Definitely the most fabulous weapon set we've seen today. Love rockets, water guns. Love shafts, baby love shafts. Let's go. Aimbot rail. <laughs> the aimbot rail that doesn't Truly good. Truly good. Um, there we go. That's how you get rid of a totem. You shoot it. Rocket bounce up. You know, not with your face. <gasps> oh. 15 HP he lived with. I can't believe he, he pulled that off. I mean, he died for it, but I can't believe he pulled oh, it off. Oh, you're so close though. <laughs> In a challenger fight, that was brilliant. <laughs> No prisoners. Look at the overstack. No. You know, Ooh. if Fab doesn't win the day, Fab at least wins our hearts. That's what it's all about. <sighs> that was so cheeky. I love that. <laughs> Very Brazy esque. Impressive. Oh, hey, Dewey's not playing around. Five minutes walking. <laughs> oh. Dewey's like, I don't need to win your hearts. I have rockets. Jibbles all jibbing about. You can have some giblets and some. Uh, get a giblet. Do not die yet! Oh! Nice little exchange there. I like how both of them just kind of kept each other at bay. Oh, Dewey is absolutely hunting down here. Okay, that was very graceful. Killing speed. I know it's not often to see people goof that up in high level play, but it is always hilarious when it happens. Oh, the uh, jump to the, <laughs> to the yeah. distant ball. Dewey yeah. just on that coordination. He knows exactly where he's gonna be. No! Oh, uh, he knows oh no! May the power he knows heal you. That was so unfortunate. Dewey sets the trap. <laughs> He isn't losing any momentum. He's just like, this no. is funny, but I am not slowing down. Until now. <laughs> Metal Gear. Fab's uh, realizing that he's gonna chill out a little bit. Ooh. He's beating me right away from Dewey this game. Lovely beat girl from Dewey, who's still holding on to absolute control. Is about to get another fat stack of overstack. 
Here we go. Juicy, juicy overstack. Ready for that fight. Has him pinned in the corner. Fab can't do anything. Unworthy. Stop watch. We're down to one totem and Peeker's in play. <laughs> While getting floated with the shaft, too. What a rocket. Dude is warming the hell up. Every step he takes, it's just like his steps are getting hotter and hotter. He's like Scale Bear. Eventually, he's just gonna have so much momentum, he's just gonna charge through everything. Oh, remind me. You have to, though, he's your favorite. <laughs> I find it interesting that Galena says my life sustains you, but whenever she puts the totem down, she doesn't lose life to sustain it. Behold, oh, such a nasty rocket player. Great. Yeah, it's a struggle. Oh, Ooh, these rockets, man! I'll tell you, that gauntlet's just pissed him off. Since that, since that, the Dewey's on fire. As soon as that gauntlet connected with Galen, she's like, it's on. We are she even so secured bad. the kill right then, too. Heal you. I think Fab minutes, might yeah. be angry at the totems, because it takes a lot of a lot to rail a totem. The totems are interesting, because we, we were talking earlier about how, you know, how much has to go through your brain to play you. <laughs> Level. And then the totems just had. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so frustrating. True. It's like the last thing you need. And then let's don't even get started on the turret. <laughs> he was bad at sleeping. Oh, I summoned that. He was just having none of it. No. Just chilling. Right. All the talk about penis makes me remember the good old days of State of Quake. Penis. Two. One minute warning. Tank. He was always a running joke. Impressive. Let master. Oh, every time the Peeker comes out, it's just a direct rocket to the face of Drago, and oh, that's gotta be painful. Help! Help! Initiate! Let's try and over the totem! <laughs> oh, he wins? Okay. I love the aggressive play with Dewey and the totems. That is so fun. That, that's a fun player to watch. Quite, two quite big scorers, but... Good skins. And plenty of players, though. Good, good style. He's, he's still holding off Dewey, even all the way down to the last 10 seconds. Never really gave him, just never gave up that edge. I love it. This is one of the best games we've seen. Mm -hmm. Granted, it's still early, but I think this is going to be one that we remember. Absolutely. GG called 2-0 for Dewey. And, uh, yeah. I, honestly, that game... 19 to 4 looks like a bit of a stomp, but it was pretty close again for the first little bit. I mean, I was right. Twitch did hold the balance closer and he did keep it a little you bit were. more you to the chest. That early. But I absolutely loved watching Fab play. That was so fun to watch, just in general. And I love that, again, he never really left that edge. Like, even whenever he was getting decimated by Dewey, he just kept up at it. And we got great plays out of it. It was fun. It was very good to watch. Certainly was. I think Dewey has uh, Aaron waiting for him in the next round. Oh, we've already got our next contender? Yeah, I have a feeling...